just want to give it a greenish yellow look, light. You sound like Bob Ross right now. I'm making my happy little barnacle. <laughs> That looks really good. That looks amazing. So when those get dry enough, I'll do the same with them. That would be awesome. All right, I'll do my best. Thank you. Hey, now you're quiet. We're in Las Vegas, downtown at the Mob Museum, ready for the big install. All right, fellas, welcome to the Mob Museum. We got a big party going on tonight. We got to do this as quick as possible, all right? I got bad news. Oh, dude, why can't you come over with good news once in a while? The truck that the forklift was on was broken down. They got to put it on another truck to get here, minimum of one hour. So we can either wait or we can manhandle this, get it inside. Well, there's no waiting. We got to get this ready for the party. So. I know. Right, let's do this, fellas. Let's get it done. This is definitely a big challenge. You got to put it on two carts, roll it off onto a deck, then down a lift and into the basement. That's a big jump right there, man. That car ain't going to be handling that. If we can't get the lift gate level with the ground, the tank can come down and crash and crack. Is there an adjustment that this will drop down? Go up a little bit. We can get it on here, then go down that low at least. One, two, three. All right, that's good. That's good. Go up, straight up, straight up, go. All right, we're in. This is going to be the hard side now, uh, guys. Good luck with this one. One, two. Three, lift. Like a glove. We made it over the gate. Now it's easy because we have a lift. Going down, boys. Going down. She's going down slow. <laughs> Open up the gate, boys. What was that? That's the wall. Oh, watch, wait, hold on. I'm wait, good, I'm good, I'm good. Straight in, boys. Push. All right, guys, listen. We got it down here. Now we have to get it in. Let's not damage anything. It's not gonna fit. Pull your end out. Pull your end out. The cart's a little... Is the cart leveled out, like I said? No. No. Oh, then it ain't gonna work. Pull the tank, you'll pull the cart, the cart will go with it. Push the cart, right, get the, push the cart. Can you lift it and push the cart? Right, get your hand on it. I said fix the cart earlier. Right. Two, push the cart, Garrett. There you go. All right, on three. One, two, three. Oh, don't on the back side? Nope, it's stuck in the back, bro. The back's not high enough. Go down towards Wade. Straight One, up. Two, three. Hold on. Do it again. Keep going. Cards out. Bring it down. One, two, three. Nailed it. Good. All right, guys. Good job. All right, so listen. Tank's in place. Yeah. We got to do all the plumbing. We got to get sand and water. We got to do the rest of the facade, the lights. There's a lot of stuff to do. With the 800 pound tank now in place, it's time for sand and water. Greatest water on the planet. Let it rip! All right, here goes. The water ready? Yeah, everything's ready. All right, fish are ready. There we go. What you got there? Gaff top sail catfish. Their dorsal fin, that's yeah. how they get their name. It looks like a sail from a boat. Very cool. The thing's going to eat everything on the bottom of the aquarium. Yeah, it's going to help keep the tank clean. All right, next up. Trunk fish. These guys actually can secrete a poison for protection. Oh, he's pretty. I love the way they swim. Last but not least, here comes a whiting. He looks like a jumper. So these guys were actually a really cheap fish, and there were so many in abundance. In the 18th century, they used this fish for filler and like flour and wheat. Sounds gross. All right, man, put all this stuff away. I'm going to go grab Wade. We're going to get this thing ready to show off to the clients, all right? All right, here we go. All right, all right. Bob Museum, come on in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The 
This is unbelievable. That's beautiful. The wreckage of the Lizzie D. This is outstanding. It's a work this is of unbelievable. Art. I had no idea that it'd ever turn out this way. The tank itself is eight feet wide, 30 inches deep, and three feet tall. It's 440 gallons. The back of the tank is a blue acrylic. And when we did the Lizzie D, the back of the boat, we authenticated the wood that's on here to look like the original boat itself. That's the real deal. That's what that is. What you see on the interior is some of the replication of what you might see when the Lizzie D sunk. So we have some old, you know, whiskey crates. We actually made the bottles and you can see how they have barnacles on them. We also have the bell from the tugboat. It is so authentic. This is what the divers would have found when they got down there and saw the wreckage. Wade came up with the idea of having these whiskey boxes and then created this, you know, amazing facade. It's perfect. It is, it's outstanding. You brought this, this story to life, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, you guys have over 30 fish in there. Because you guys wanted authentic, we got to get fish from the North Atlantic. Some of the fish I've never seen them before. Right. Uh, we have the guy with the big blue eyes. We have the spiny box puffer. I never saw a puffer in real life. We also have a black sea bass. These fish have character. The sea robin right there, you're going to notice it has wide pectoral fins. And when it swims, it actually looks like a bird. This is really something special. This is unbelievable. You guys did the best job that any human beings could do. You have made Las Vegas proud. In a few hours, you'll be tanked too. <laughs> That's what I love about this speakeasy. This is the greatest. Well, you know what? We're really excited, guys, for this to be a part of this in our own hometown. You made us proud. This is going to be known around the world, and rightfully so, because it's it's perfect. But thank you for checking out, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You do a phenomenal job. Nice. Unbelievable. Enjoy, right? Unbelievable. These are. Look at this. I love these fish.